do you know Westworld? That is what actually happens here in China these days. Xpen, a leading Chinese smart TV company, has just released their recent announcements about AI humanoid robots, robot taxis, flying cars that of course also can operate autonomously. But that's not all. Xpen also released the first single 3D map of the virtual world which connects and operates these flying autonomous cars, cars on the ground and AI humanoid robots. Now they're connected in one ecosystem and can work together. They are really focused on AI and basically what they do is they bring the current state of AI from our devices to the real world. And it's absolutely mind-blowing. And today, Xpen has introduced their first AI humanoid robot. They are powered by industry-first solid-state batteries and equipped with three Turing AI chips with a quartal computing power of 2,250 tops. And these robots are focused on commercial applications. They can be working as guided tour, shopping guide, traffic diversion, and so on. And by the way, later they are also going to present the first female humanoid robot with flexible bones tight muscles and smooth skin. And yeah, the female robot was presented later by performing its catwalk on stage. And then we could get a closer look. Its female shapes and lines attracted more attention than the technology itself. However, besides its sexy body, the machine itself is quite impressive. Its hands alone feature 22 doff with the industry's smallest harmonic joint, enabling a one-to-one -one human hand size scale. The overall body has 82 doff, so it's quite flexible and can bend in different directions. During the workshop with Xpans Robotics VP LCME, we got a clear, honest look at what the robots can really do. Basically, they are just at the very start of making these robots a part of our daily lives. But Xpan already has short-term goals for these robots to perform simple tasks that will allow commercialization in the very near future. As for the flying cars, this time Xpen is introducing the first full tilt rotor hybrid flying car A868 for multi passenger long haul travel. This vehicle is expected to have a range of 500 km with a maximum cruising speed of 360 km per hour. Its six seater cabin is designed to meet the needs of business travel. Currently, the A868 has officially entered the critical stage of flight verification. And if Xpeng's flying cars are going to be the same good as their traditional ones, soon we're going to live in a world of a 3D traffic. Maybe safe for a while. Oh, and by the way, if you are still happy with the 2D traffic and considering to buy Xpen or any other car from China and import it to your country, reach out to us via our WhatsApp or email. Loom Auto, a trusted car expert company with a proven record, will make the entire process for you fast, smooth and hassle-free. Connect with us today and we will guide you through the whole process. And Xpen is trying to make handling of these flying vehicles as easy as possible, especially comparing to the traditional aviation. And it's going to be much easier to get a license to operate them. As for the Xpeng Robo Taxi, that's again going to be China's first mass-produced pre-installed autonomous taxi that does not require any further modifications, navigates by pure vision and of course does not rely on high-precision maps. It's designed for level 4 autonomous driving and has two sets of hardware which back each other to maximize safety. There are going to be three Robo Taxi models launched in 2026 with a starting price for the entry option of just 200,000 yuan. Xpeng will initiate the trial operation of these robot taxis this year. And during the workshop, we saw some real footage of its autopilot handling tough road situations. And it was seriously impressive. For example, how it goes through this narrow pass. And we were assured that it wasn't staged. Even more interesting, Xpeng's AI system learns some driving behavior on its own without being specifically guided for that. For example, it learned how to recognize road gestures and predict traffic lights changes to slightly slow down or speed up. 
And after the workshops, we are going to X-Bank's actual factory. We already arrived here. At the entrance, they have this beautiful hall, again, with many of their recent models displayed, some cool videos and information about the company. I can't wait to go to the factory itself. However, it's not allowed to shoot there. But shortly after my visit, I will share with you my overall impression from their production process, and maybe I'll get some footage to also share with you. And yes, we could not film anything. However, honestly, I thought that we'd only be able to see a demo of the production process. But instead, we toured all the main sections of Expense Guangzhou factory and saw the manufacturing process in all its action. Many production areas are fully automated with very few people around and everything looked very well organized and tidy. It was really great to witness the whole process with my own eyes. And we just finished our factory visit, which was the last stop during our trip with x -Pen. And that's it for today. Please let me know what you think about the latest technologies unveiled by x -Pen during this presentation. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit this like and the bell buttons. Subscribe to my channel, that would be deeply appreciated. And as always, that was Max. Stay safe on the road and see you next time.